what I eat in a day, 1,850 calories, high protein, high volume, anabolic style. Y'all, I am not sugarcoating it. It is 3.52. Your girl did not want to get out of bed. Like, I even sat there, let the alarm snooze. And that's not like me for these early morning workouts. I usually just get up and go. It's another early day. It's Thursday. We are still on spring. I feel like every time I talk to you guys, all I'm talking about is spring break. It's like a month long instead of a week. I did not want to get out of bed. I even thought about doing a home workout. I was all the things. I do have a little mini home gym in the works coming. I mentioned in last what I eat in a day because this summer the boys are going to be home right for two months and your girl is not doing 3 a.m. every day for two months. It is not happening. I might be like dead on the ground if that was the case. I go to the gym on leg day for sure because I need some other equipment but I can definitely pull out a pull day and a push day at home with what we got working on and I'm excited about it. So I'm going to take you along for that in the future once everything comes in, but everything was not in today. So I was like, oh my gosh, I, I need to go to the gym because I don't have everything I need. Here I am. Here I am, y'all. I did not wake up today to be a weak ass beep. I did not. I told myself initially that I was. I was like, you are, you are a weak ass beep. But I was like, no, you're not. No, you're not. Get out of bed get going. You got this. It's, it's temporary guys. The pain is temporary. The struggle is temporary. When you're in the gym and it hurts and it's struggle bus city, it is just temporary. It's just a temporary time. Think about it. Your workout sometimes are only 30 minutes. You can do anything and you can struggle through and push through for 30 minutes. And I can do the same thing as far as getting up. I mentioned in last what I eat in a day, this is the worst part for me is just getting up, getting to the gym or getting up and getting to like out of the bed and putting your workout clothes on and doing an at home workout or going for a run, going for a walk. That's the worst part is just getting there. Once you get there, you feel so much better that you did it. And then the rest of the day is just like euphoria. It is amazing. And what gets me jacked in the morning on these 3 a.m. workouts I showed you guys I know I'm crazy, but I have like certain jams that like just get me going and Rebel Yell by Billy Idol. I know like showing my age for sure, but that just gets me going in the morning. I got my pre-workout. I'm not even freaking done with it. We're doing the PE Science Prolific and High Volume and their creatine and Burgess gets you a discount. I have been in love with the cotton candy flavor. It's been like my new favorite. I even just had to order more of the high volume because I was out. I'm flying through this flavor. It is so freaking good and I really think this gives me the jack and the pump that I need and you can play with it. One scoop, two scoops with the prolific and see what you like but it doesn't give you that tingly feeling. I know a lot of you guys don't like that. This has just been my jam. Let me finish jamming out to my tunes. I got a couple more minutes before we get to the gym. Finish this pre-workout. We got a push day to go and kill. Y'all know push day is my kryptonite, but I think that I'm in the right head space, at least right in this moment, to go and crank it out. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Yeah, they all wanna ring, yeah, we all wanna be free 
So show me what you got, what you bring How you fight in the ring, how you take a f***ing swing Do you got heart, are you mean? Got some scars, got some needs, are you willing to go bleed? I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm f***ed off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown I swear to God they all let me down just met David Goggins reincarnated y'all and these early morning workouts y'all know I have my gym buddies at my usual time but they're the same regulars here at this time as well and there's this one guy that has been in here every time I've come to the gym at 4 a.m. he is a 4 a.m. regular and on Tuesday when I was doing pull day he was also doing pull and we were like sharing some stuff and talked a little bit and today he walked up to me and he said I swear he like reminded me of David Goggins so much the way he was like jacked and hyped he said he fist pumped me and he said I just want to tell you I admire and you are you inspire me with your effing drive he was like dropping the f-bombs left and right and he was like man you're just freaking killing it he said keep on doing what you're doing you're gonna go far and you're inspiring me when I see you in here so I know you're inspiring others and it just made my day it just makes someone's day guys to just give a compliment so what I want to challenge you today is and you know we complimented each other back is to compliment somebody you know you can tell somebody that you like their shoes you can tell somebody that hey I really like that shirt you're wearing or if you're in the gym man I see you in here every day and you're freaking killing it there's one guy that I want to approach and compliment on my regular time and I'm going to tomorrow if I see him I'm gonna challenge myself and I'm gonna go up to him and I'm gonna compliment him because he's freaking killing it as well he's been showing up the past month and he's just a beast so I want to make sure that he knows he's in beast mode but just made my day it was just really uh, nice to be able to converse with somebody at 4 a.m. and because I miss my gym buddies already so tomorrow is leg day for me and the hubby is off for Good Friday and it's our anniversary our 16 year anniversary so we're going to do all the fun things and live our best life eating wise <laughs> it's going to be a total wash this weekend I think that's why I've been killing it so hard this week should be able to get into the gym at my usual time tomorrow to see my gym buddy so I'll be able to do that and challenge myself as well but y'all I was not feeling it this morning like I told you I did not want to roll out of bed I was making all the excuses Bev which is our inner voice that tells us what we don't want to or need to do she was working me hard but I just told that b-i-t-c-h where to go we went to the gym we put in the work I felt good I went up on reps on a lot of things not so much poundage but I went up in reps today which was nice and things just felt good it sometimes you go in there for push day and it's just like the worst day ever for me that's my kryptonite day and sometimes things just feel like a million pounds but everything felt good today so I went up on reps progressive overload is key and I'm, I'm just feeling really really good at 5 59 in the morning let's freaking go you got this guys I struggle too I don't wake up every freaking morning motivated and wanting to go to the gym guys but you have to have that drive and that's what he mentioned he was like man I am so inspired by your drive just keep on effing doing it and that's what you got to have you've got to have drive determination and just keep putting in the work be patient with yourself so many of you guys are not being patient with the process this is a journey this is going to be an ever 
thing, okay? Just get it through your head. If you've been overweight your entire life and now you're starting your health journey and you're like, man, I just can't wait to get to the end. There is no end. There might be goals that you hit and you achieve and you just keep going forward. If you wanna stay healthy for the rest of your life and if you wanna keep that weight off, you've gotta get your mind right and you've gotta get your mind in the right mindset to say that, hey, we're in this for the long run. There is no stopping. There is no quitting. It's just keeping on going and hitting goals for the rest of our life until we're no longer here anymore. And that's the mindset and the drive that you have to have to get it done and to be patient with the process because it took a long time to get yourself overweight. It didn't happen overnight, just like it's not going to be overnight for you to lose all the weight as well or get a certain physique that you want, gain muscle. You've got to be patient with the process, but you've got to put in the work. If you don't put in the work, you can't complain about not getting the results. Period. 730 and your girl is next level starving. So if you watched last week's full day of eating, this is the same exact thing. And I break it down how to make this anabolic French toast, protein French toast, however you want to call it. So go show it some love if you have not and seen how to make this a deliciousness. But we are doing a little bit different toppings today. Instead of strawberries, I'm doing frozen blueberries just to switch it up. Same little mini omelet. The coffee back there is some cold brew I made earlier in the week. 153 grams of the Alani New Protein Shake. This is the munchies. Love this one. And everything that you see here, including the sugar-free syrup, the coffee, everything, is 515 calories. Can you believe this massive plate is 515 calories? 64 grams of protein, 69 total carbs, and 6 grams of fat. Post-workout meal. Let's get it. Whew high volume is an understatement man that anabolic french toast don't sleep on it i know a lot of you guys would probably like to do just half of that and the macros are absolutely insane and it's going to fill you up so high in protein i think i like the blueberry like mixture on top versus the strawberry they're both good but i think the blueberry was freaking spot on y'all got to try it with whatever fruit that you like on top and then do your sugar-free syrup you can even do the american dream nut butter drizzled on there if you've got the extra calories whatever Ever. get creative with it watch that video make it tag me all the things it is 9 39 we've got some pickups to do grocery pickup running day because it's easter weekend anniversary weekend getting it done early on a thursday but i stopped at the gas station and got some of my favorite flavors because i had flavors i didn't like then maybe that's why i haven't drank them in four plus months but we are on a bang kick on these 3 a.m mornings so we've got the purple guava pear is in my top three for sure and i'm not gonna lie i'm hungry i know we ate that massive breakfast but your girl's next level of starving today don't know what's going on but this will definitely curb my appetite getting all the things done getting all the work done let's go car wash time almost 12 o'clock it is time for lunch i'm telling you i've been hungry since breakfast i don't know what's going on but we've got another flex pro meal i've been mentioning these lately they've just been coming in clutch when i don't feel like making anything i am going to be making all my lunches next week so stay tuned for those what i eat in a days and i'm going to hopefully film the lunch part for another protein lunch video for you guys so stay tuned i'm trying but these are been next level i have not tried this one this is the chicken and sweet potatoes so just for the meal itself it's 278 calories, 32 grams of protein, three fat, and 31 carbs. And it's legit just chicken, salt, spices, sweet potato, green beans, and some barbecue sauce. Like, they're minimal ingredients. They have lots of keto options as well. I feel like more keto than these fat trimmer meals is what they call, more like anabolic meals. But in Burgess gets you 20% off your first order. I do the 10 meal thing that you can do. It's the cheapest one, but I feel like it's definitely worth the money. And I've loved all of the Mexican ones. Like those have been next level. Speaking of, we've got some late July jalapeno lime tortilla chips. This is exactly 31 grams, which is 144 calories and 17 carbs for a total of 422 calories, 33 grams of protein, 11 fat and 50 carbs. Update on the chicken and sweet potatoes. So I still like all the Mexican ones. They are like next level and the sesame chicken one was spot on too this one's good like that barbecue chicken all the chicken is so flavorful they use chicken thighs boneless skinless chicken thighs and they like I don't know they sear them and they're just juicy and they're delicious I just can't get over the flavor on these or like on point so I would definitely get that one again it's you know basic with the green beans and the sweet potatoes but when you like eat a bite of it with the chicken with the barbecue sauce 
it was pretty damn good, I have to say. Almost three o'clock. I don't know what the deal is, but I've been hungry as all hell today. It has not been like that all week, but I am like ravenous. I don't know. But we're doing an anabolic banana pudding cup. I don't even know. This is the banana and cream Oikos triple zero. These are 90 calories and 15 grams of protein. I think the other ones are like 100 calories. I don't know why this one's 90, but I'll take it. And in it, I put three grams of the graham cracker crumbs, which is only like 13 calories by Kellogg's. And then we've got seven grams of the protein granola oats and honey. We're doing our electrolytes by Redmond's, the mango flavor, and Burgess gets you a discount. Highly recommend you do that each and every day. So for our little banana pudding cup, 30 grams of bananas, it is 160 calories, 17 grams of protein, 23 carbs, and one gram of fat. Yummy. 436, getting dinner ready because we have to go drop Waylon off at my sister's. My, long story, but my mom is going to watch him for the next two days while we go on our little anniversary extravaganza. We got some fun things planned starting tomorrow. Cannot wait, but this is dinner. I got this from Pinterest as far as an inspiration. I totally revamped the entire recipe. It's nothing like the original recipe. So if it turns out to be good, I will type it out for you guys with the directions and ingredients to the gram in the description box so you can make it for the macros I'm going to tell you. So I've got 80 grams of onion diced up, a whole bag of broccoli florets. We're doing eight ounces of the Barilla protein pasta. This is the bow tie one I have on hand. We are going to use a little bit of the, I can't believe it's not butter, the light one. The ground mustard. We've got some smoked Gruyere cheese back here. This is from when I made those pork chops by Elise Ellis. I had just enough. We've got some venison sausage. If you watched my pantry freezer tour, I showcased we have an ish ton, so I'm trying to find ways to use it up. I'm going to use this whole bag of Elvita shreds. Don't come for me. Fair life milk and some flour back there. I've already got my, my pasta is about to be overflowing, so let me get to it. If you didn't know the wooden spoon hack, it does work. You put your wooden spoon right here and it goes to bubble up. It won't overflow. Works every time. I'm going to heat up a skillet. I'm using a cast iron today. I've got 13 ounces of the venison sausage, 80 grams of the onion. We're going to just heat that up basically, get it a little sauteed before we start making a little thickening agent for our pasta sausage casserole thingamajig. Okay, life was on the phone with my mom. Waylon came in, it's got mud all over him. I mean, oh, boys. So I've got the sausage and the onions cooked up, put those to the side. Got our two tablespoons of our butter melted up, I added the flour, we added our fair life milk and letting that thicken. Now we're gonna add some of the cheeses and I'm gonna reserve some to put on the top. We're gonna mix everything together, put it in a casserole dish and bake this on 375 for I don't even know how long cause I'm just doing this by the seat of my pants. I did a half a teaspoon of ground mustard and also I just sprinkled to my heart's desire of the Kinder's buttery steak cow seasoning. I added about half of our Velveeta cheese and half of our Gruyere smoked cheese. Now I'm going to put the pasta, sausage, onions, broccoli, Put the cheese sauce on. This is what we're working with when we have it all mixed together. We're gonna top it with cheeses, some spices, bacon in the oven. Doesn't that look beautiful? And we haven't even popped in the oven to melt the cheese yet. So what I topped it with was the Buttery Steakhouse by Kinder's. Again, a little bit of that. Some Herbs de Provence from Trader Joe's. You could just do parsley flakes and some pepper. 375, I'm gonna start with 15 minutes. OMG, this is 15 minutes. I'm gonna put it back in for about five more minutes just to get a little bit more melty melty, and then it is done -zo. Four minutes uncovered, seems like perfection. Weighed everything out, that is a serving, substantial I have to say. So with the sausage pasta, I've got some cucumbers, and then we're doing some Skinny Girl Honey Dijon dressing. Love this stuff because it's 10 calories for two tablespoons, and it's really good. I like it a lot, almost out as you guys can see. 492 calories, again, under 500 calories for this entire plate, that's crazy. 35 grams of protein, 45 total carbs, 20 grams of fat. So this is a higher fat meal than I usually have because of all that damn cheese. But I am here for it and we kind of like spared out our fat throughout the day so we can indulge tonight. You could definitely do that guys. You don't have to have like equal amounts of everything throughout your meals. Make sure that you're getting protein and carbs pre and post workout. But for the rest of the day, you can divide it up where you are most comfortable and what you enjoy. Super easy, delicious. And I would definitely make this again. So highly recommend 
Oh my gosh, look at that cheese. I will have the cheese is where it's at. That's all the calories. It's cheese and broccoli and pasta and sausage. Let's go. I will have it typed out, the directions for you guys. Try it out. Let me know what you think. It was really good with the broccoli. Like you could do spinach in here too, other veggies. Get creative with it. You can do chicken in here. I mean, ground beef. You don't have to do sausage. Just a put all together casserole type of thing. Almost eight o'clock. Never skip dessert. Your girl is ready. I've been hashtag hangry hungry today what is going on oh my gosh that might be bad going into uh the weekend with eating all the things we are doing three rice cakes however the rest of my rice cakes they came in the mail and they are like crumble but that's okay we just weighed up 31 grams this three rice cakes we drizzled on 16 grams of the double butter crunch this is the butterfinger one from the easter launch american dream nut butter in Burgess gets you a discount until the 22nd, and then they're going to start only giving you a discount with using my specific link. They're going to get away with the codes. 22nd, use in Burgess. If you're watching after the 22nd, use the link in the description box, and the code will automatically be applied at checkout. We've got about 58 grams of banana, so we've got 257 calories for dessert, 7 protein, 43 carbs, and 8 grams of fat to end out our full day of eating. We've hit our 10,000 steps. I'm tired. We've been up since 3.15. Ready to hit the hay. We've got our last training session of the week. And then the anniversary and Easter weekend fun begins. 157 on the protein today, 46 grams of fat, 18.45 cals, 190 net carbs for 230 total carbs for this Thursday push day, full day of eating. So it's a few days later now coming at you. It's actually Easter Sunday. You're watching this on Monday. I hope you guys had an awesome Easter with your loved ones, with your family, and you made those memories and you didn't focus on macros today. So I always say memories over macros. Absolutely. I will not sugarcoat it though. Speaking of sugar, your girl has went a little Reese egg crazy those little cadbury little hard shelled chocolate eggs we got a little wasted today but it's all right because today is done we had a good time we enjoyed the day and we're going to get right back on the grind tomorrow so if you did the same thing if you enjoyed all the good foods if you went a little ham on your easter basket it is all right as long as you don't let that trickle into tomorrow, the next day, the next week, the next month, and then you look up and the years went by and you've gained 30 pounds. That's where we get ourselves in a pickle and that's where it just spirals out of control. So you can enjoy these moments, guys. One day is not going to derail your progress just like you did not get skinny in one day, you did not get fat in one day either. So don't let one day make you feel like you did something wrong because you definitely didn't. You can enjoy these days. You can enjoy these moments as long as you're being consistent and getting right back on the horse. That's the message. You don't have to go crazy with cardio today on Monday. You don't have to fast for 50 hours and do all these crazy things and do juice cleanses and detoxes. That's all punishment. And if that's the case, if you're doing that, why do it in the first place if you're going to punish yourself, right? I don't see the logic in doing that. Just get right back to your daily routine your workout, your steps, your nutrition, your tracking, and you're going to get right back into place and just don't let it go into another week, another month, another day, another meal, and you will be totally fine. So I hope you enjoyed Easter, the weekend, whatever plans you had set for yourself, and I hope you enjoy this week. And look, take those carbs, take that sugar, whatever you ate, and freaking put it into a workout the next day. Definitely gonna be utilizing these Reese eggs to good use for leg day tomorrow. Like we should not be struggling on leg day tomorrow because we got a hell of a lot of reserve to be able to use and crank it out. Thank you all so much for watching today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Seems like y'all liked the last one a lot. Make sure to make that sausage pasta cheesy recipe. I will have it all typed out below for you guys. It's a real good one. We had it for leftovers, and I think it's, I always say this, I like leftovers. I feel like better than the actual night of the meal. I don't, the flavors marry or something. It's just hitting. So definitely try it out. If you enjoy these What I Eat in a Day, please give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much and takes a second, and I appreciate it so much. If you're new, don't forget to hit all the bells and whistles before you leave, and stay tuned for probably Friday. I will have another What I Eat in a Day for you guys, and then we're going to do another What I Eat in a Day, I think, the next Monday. But we're going to start switching things up and then we're going to get back to the weekly vlogs. Unless you like these style, I'll keep doing two a week versus the weekly vlogs. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! It's only worth it if you work for it.
It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I win